Well, what's the overall expectancy around uh, Milan this season, Gab? Are we talking top four? Are we talking pushing for the title? What are fans expecting? Um, I think fans look for, for progress compared to, compared to last year. I think, you know, there's still a general perception that maybe they're not ready to, uh, uh, to fight for the title just yet, especially because, you know, they lost two players in, in Hakan Shalanoglu and obviously Gigi Donnarumma. So I expect them to progress. I think one of the keys uh, is going to be obviously some of these new guys that they get in, but also, you know, are they going to get something from Tonali this year? If they can do all that, then I think they will be there, thereabouts, fighting for second place. And, and if there is a stumble, um, because you don't quite know what's going to happen with Juve, then I think that they'll be ready. Uh, there was a sense last season when they were top of the table for so long that, you know, they were, they, they were punching above their weight. Um, so maybe this is the season that they take another little step forward. Qua per portare risultati, aiutare la squadra, mister, il club per tornare dove Milan deve essere. Already an extraordinary opening weekend. A debut for Mike Maignan, newly signed from Lille. Can Milan reach out and grab the Scudetto? feel as though Milan that can try and claw that gap which is 12 points behind Inter last season. Another slip from Sam Calabria to tee it up! Here. Well it's Gabi Adini! Here's Rebic. Oh curling oh. effort! That will do it for Milan. The early goal from Brahim Diaz was enough. They start with a victory. It's three in a row away at Sam. It's a big win on the opening day. Welcome back there in a great night of Serie A. Football in store. One of the great venues, a cathedral. There's fans back. A venue which is at half capacity this evening. Well, lovely touch there by Giroud. He's Leao in the clear. Is Tonali! Oh. It's absolutely superb! Here's Jan Pedro now. Three to attack this. There's the header! It's 1 1! Hernandez. Now they are. It's a powerful hit and it deflects in! Another goal! B2 here for Diaz. Five in the attack. Diaz for Giroud! And they could be a real force once again under his guidance this season. And now wait for the ovation as we still get used to the idea of packed Serie A stadia once again. Here come Milan. Fabulous sight at this glorious stadium. It's Outside him, but what a run this is from Rafael Leao. It starts to open up, it's Rebic, it's Rafael Leao. It is a glorious, glorious goal to give Milan the lead. To make it 2-0 for Milan, off the crossbar. Moment at San Siro, Rebic. For Ibrahimovic. Ibra Kadabra. Milan march on early days, but they're a serious contender. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Well, what a game for you this evening, Juve against Milan. In any season, this will be an absolutely huge one, but this time around, Milan coming in with a perfect record and with a chance this evening to put serial winners Juve 11 points behind them. Morata's away, he's in behind, he's one-on-one, -on -one, and he's scored! Then Tancor to Dybala, and Dybala's going to hit this! The last clean sheet here, can Milan find a way through? Tonali's ball in, and they have found a way through! Renzi's made a dart to the edge of the box, on Kalulu! And there will be no more, as the referee brings the game to a close, it will be a point apiece. Welcome back, we're at San Siro, as Milan hosts Venezia with the 
right result against the Serie A new boys and jointly top the table with defending champions and city rivals Inter. Here comes Kalulu for Milan. Rebic, Kalulu to Aramu. He's released Henri. Waiting in the middle. There's Benacea, floating one. Big opportunity, and at last a goal for Milan. Brahim Diaz in the right place. Salamak has, has done well. And he's found Hernandez in space. It's Teo Hernandez, 2-0 Milan. And that is game over. Collect the clean sheet, they collect the three points, and it will take them to joint leadership of Serie A. Hello and welcome along to Spezia against AC Milan in Syria. A win today would take third place Milan top, albeit maybe temporarily, against the Spezia side sitting 17th in the table. Kalulu. Whistle has gone. Rafael Liao. Finds Kalulu. His cross into the area. Maldini. The legacy lives on! Fente with the step overs, wants to shoot, does shoot, deflection, equaliser! Salamakas trying to find a way through, it might come and it does! Brahim Diaz! So it's time, and there goes the full-time whistle. AC Milan win at Spezia, thanks to a late goal from Brahim Diaz. What a game in prospect here. Two of last season's top three. They ended the previous campaign just a point apart. Milan seconds, Atalanta third. It is the goddess against the devil. The young side, they are growing and getting better all the time. And on the attack early on here. And it's a chance to make it 1-0 and they've done it. But under pressure by Tonali, who's picked his pocket and he can make it too. And he does, confidently. Macias has made a run, Salamakas is there as well. And Rafael Liao hits it. And that is a devastating finish. It's Duvan Zapata up against Menyan. And he scores, really. Thunders working hard, getting back. Zapata with the chance to cross. Oh, and a great chance to get another one, and they have. Stefano Pioli side register another three points. They remain unbeaten at the start of the season. 2010-11, Milan's last title, and that was the first for seven years. Incredible, certainly for those of us of a certain vintage to think. One league crown in 17 years. Oh, it's opened up here, what a chance! Barak buries it. Good ball! Typical Olivier Giroud goal. And it does, right in the corner. Castilejo here. Delicate little ball in! Well, there might be a winner, and it might be the weirdest winner you've ever seen. Sixth successive win for Milan. And they do go to the top of the Syria table. Welcome back to the Stadio Renato Dallara Bologna against Milan. The two sides have made their way out. It is a wonderful atmosphere here in Bologna. It is... yeah, carry the ball away again. As they out. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, now, what has the referee seen here? This is going to be a red card. Skorupski loses it. Castillejo fires it back in. And it's drilled in by Calabria. And Daniel Maldini is on the bench for Milan. Oh, and it's in! Played by Anatovic. Soriano hats it on. Musa Barrow! It's 2 2! Cross in. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's yeah, a nasty that's, one. That's painful, isn't it? Yeah. Caught by Soriano right on the ankle. It's found space. Back of Yoko to deliver. Driven in first time! And it's 3 2 to Milan! Your space to run and to hear the Algerian has found Ibrahimovic who wraps up the points for Milan. Yeah, I'm them it is going to be a sixth successive win for Milan. 
So here we are, everybody. Match day 10 already in Syria, and already two games played to start out this midweek round. Welcome along, everybody. And here we are in San Siro. It's an outswinging corner. Now maybe something. Tatarasanu denies Sanabria. The frustration keeps growing for Torino. Beaten 1-0 by Napoli, beaten 1-0 by Juventus, beaten 1-0 here tonight by Milan. Well, there you go. Exciting news uh, on the team front. Ibra will start tonight for Milan, who are off to their best start in 67 years, James. Yeah, really building on what they did last season. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Nervous whistles from the crowd. Ibrahimovic strikes oh. it brilliantly. It's completely wipes them out, doesn't he? Got the nudge off Karsdorp. He's played in. Ibrahimovic, who goes down. From the spot, up against Patricio. It's Kessie. It's 2 0. Roma on the counter. Pellegrini. It's a clumsy challenge, that, wasn't it? And he's been booked, hasn't he? Yeah. Has to go into the box, and it does. And it drops here. And in! El Sharawi. Milan keep on winning. Seven in a row in Serie A. They are serious challengers for the Scudetto. Milan with a chance tonight to take a two-point lead at the top of Serie A. Inter, their fans reminding us there, are the champions, though, in Italy. And tonight gives them the chance to pull within five points again of the lead. It's a huge one. Sure, that pass was on there from Medegeco. Oh, Kessie's played himself into a bit of trouble here. It's Hakan Chalanolu. For Handanovic, looks on. Tonali floats it in there, and the header is in. It's Vikayo Tamori. Darmian's latched onto this. Penalty. Oh, and he's been brought down. Penalty. To put Inter back in front in the derby. Saved. Just to pick him out. Jekko's waiting. The pullback's good. And off the line, the shot from him. Kessie's getting forward in support, too. Oh, oh the post, and Kessie's there. So it ends all square in the derby. In truth, both sides had opportunities to win it. Both must settle for a point in the end. Make no mistake, this is still a huge football club and this is a massive fixture. And Fiorentina would love nothing more than knocking Milan off their perch. Sampanara made the near post run and oh, it goes through to the goalkeeper and it's turned in! Here goes Raphael Leao. Lovely weaving run and now he made a mess of the clearance. Time for a Sampanara special! Anyway, that's a different issue for a different day. That's a wonderful ball. What about that for a touch? It's Flavic for three! Well, it's given away though. And there's Ibrahimovic, and there's what? He was so convinced he was fouled. Mateo Hernandez rolls it across, and it's Latan Ibrahimovic again. Oh, it's given away. Lazy in possession. Flavic! How much longer is the. Oh, Teo lobs it for Zlatan! Milan's. Unbeaten record is gone. And now it's a question of how they rebuild. Match day 14 in Serie A continues with another visit to the Giuseppe Miazza. Milan are looking to bounce back from their first Serie A defeat of the season. Hernandez with the delivery, and Milan ahead. A tremendous header. Last week, as they lost to Fiorentina. They're in trouble here too. Skamaka. Oh, what a goal! Oh, his ball in. Oh, it was cleared off the line, and Skamaka has smashed in the rebound. He clipped through to Defrel. Enrique's won it back. Here's Domenico Berardi. Is there room for a shot? Berardi scores. He's one on one with Romagnoli, and he's done him. And Romagnoli's brought him down. That could be a straight red. They were the last side to win here in Serie A. They are the first Serie A side to win here this season. Welcome back, everybody, to the Luigi Ferrara Stadium here at Genoa, where Milan coach Fioli is looking for a positive reaction to his side following that surprise weekend loss. We are aware of our qualities, he said. 
Ibrahimovic through the wall, and there's your answer. Goalkeeper stood. There is Brahim Diaz. It's the shot in the turn for Greenwich. There's a little dig header. There is uh, Theo Hernandez. A good strong run from him. Brahim Diaz. His control let him down a little bit there. And there it is, the final whistle goes, and Milan have cruised to a comfortable victory here. Super Saturday in Serie A starts at San Siro, and with four of the top five facing off later today, the Rossoneri begin round 16 and could finish it in first with victory over the league's bottom side. Melt as well against Sortea. Still there. Deflection and Cassis put it in. This is Brahim Diaz, Salamecas. Oh, and it's a wonderful shot and a wonderful goal, the Belgian. A routine victory that takes Rossoneri to the top of the league. It's the big one from Serie A this Saturday evening. It's Udinese against Milan, up next. Pumping it away, looking for that formidable frame. Good flick on as well, Delefeu is in behind here. Many years. Cheaply given away, Arslan finding Betu here, he's in behind, flag staying down, looking to finish it off, might get a second chance at it, smashed into the roof of the net. Castillejo, three to aim at. Ibrahimovic trying to keep it alive, it's spectacular! That is the full-time whistle, frustration you feel for both sides. Welcome back, everybody. San Siro awaits us for our live special tonight. The lights are on, Lucia San Siro. Oh, it's headed in. What a start this is for Napoli. Jesus said it clear, and it came out to be struck. In towards Olivier Giroud. And Castellejo hit Kessi! Not the referee. And the goal disallowed. That's it. A priceless victory here for Napoli. Welcome back, everyone. Good timing as the players come out here. Empoli, a dangerous opponent for a faltering Milan. They sense an opportunity for a big scalp in this part of Tuscany. Sanamakis in towards Olivier Giroud and Cassie! Henderson's ball into the box. Cassie got his head to that and driven in! Brilliant goal! Salamakis. Kessie. Kessie shots, it's squeezed in. It's Florenzi. Salamakis. Oh, it's dropped for Teo Hernandez. And the man on loan from in to get one back here. He can. Emphatically, really good penalty. Final minute of added time. As a volley comes in and hits the bar. Well, one end to the game, that would have been Alessio Romagnoli with a fantastic strike, Nigel. So all set to start, and always in Syria, I think in Italy, this date in the Canada is seen as the true start. We're in for a great title race and a, a really monster battle. Giroud, yes! That's short, Giroud. For two off the post and the rebound is buried. Whips it in there. Mania can't adjust this time. Abraham goes driving forward and he picks out Abraham who turns well. Tammy Abraham. Maybe now Smalling can't get to it. Should do the job and do it in style. Nobody pretends it's a glittering era for Milan, but a group of players proud to wear the jersey and work hard for their coach. Well, hello and welcome to the Stadio Pierre Luigi Penzo. Wayne Boyce with you for Venezia against Milan from the island of Santa Elena in Venice. It's Hernandez. And Milan getting in behind here. Ibrahimovic in the centre, and Ibrahimovic has a tap in. Scudetto. a good run by Teo Hernandez but this result beyond doubt with half an hour to go and he does what a sweet penalty from Teo Hernandez and it is Milan who moved to the top of Syria 
two points ahead of Inter, that their city rivals and champions do have a game in hand. Well, we could have a new leader in Syria tonight as the latest round of matches draw to a close. Milan need a win to leapfrog city rivals Inter and claim top spot. But Spezia have been surprisingly good recently on their travels. Raheem Diaz racing into the box as well. Leal might fancy this. He certainly does. Oh, and Providel getting in real trouble there. Today. That's not what he's done. Milan stayed on the deck. Milan get the ball away. Oh, and it might fall here for Rafael Leal, who does score. Coming extra. A little added spark to their play. Verde with the cross. Great chance, equalising goal. Forward they come again. Rebic the substitute, challenged by Bastoni. The ball's ended up in the net. The whistle had already blown. It's all over Kalulu. Oh, now it's with Kovalenko. And Kovalenko looks to set up Jassy. It's Jassy, and it's absolutely stunning. And there goes the final whistle. Wow, what drama, what a finish to the match. And what a massive... Bringing you Milan Juventus, the uh, big Sunday night game from round 23 of the Italian season. Some of the uh, fans there at San Siro. The movement from Calabria. Macias to his right. A lovely football, this by Milan! Calabria's a long way forward. And decides to have a go! And Giroud! Inter still top, four points clear of Napoli, who've moved into second place ahead of Milan. We're at the Giuseppe Miazza for an early evening kickoff, a derby not for the faint-hearted as Inter host Milan. On his weaker side, and Mignon with a stunning save. Marella calling for it. And Fitch might be able to get there and does! Terrific stuff. Mignon once again. The area today as well. And it comes once more. Found the corner! The Arsenal players, Giroud. This is Donali. Sets up nicely here. And Diaz. Oh, and it's just about struck home by Giroud inside the six yard made a difference all right Brian Diaz this is Giroud again to turn and Carl and find the corner unbelievable it is derby delight for Milan an incredible turnaround against City rivals Inter Inter looked like they were going to go seven clear at the top but it's Milan just one behind and the hunting pack are closing in on Simone Inzaghi's side. A big moment for Milan today, who host struggling Sampdoria. Particularly in the first half. And he prevented something of a goal avalanche. I mean, to... here's Liao getting the better of Berezinski. Liao scores! And Milan hit the front. But Rafael Liao's goal on eight minutes enough to take them to the top of the table. Perfect timing. Teams on their way out here in Salerno. Can Salernitana cause a mighty upset in Nicola's first game in charge? Oh, lovely ball forward from Teo Hernandez for Messias. Five against three here if they get this right. Long towards Juric. Mignon's come too far. And Bonac Soli. Goes down holding his ankle, he has to stay alive here. And to uh, breeze past the bottom of the table side. I've got some thinking to do and they might have some more to do. I think Salonitana are starting to think they could even win this. Here's Mazzocchi who's been magnificent again. It's a free header! It's unbelievable! He did keep them up and he did cycle there, 1,300 kilometres. That's a good hit from Rebic! Milan level! Because there's the final whistle. And Salernitana have held on. Salernitana 2, Milan 2. Well, hello and welcome to San Siro. Wayne Boyce with you as Syria leaders Milan face relegation threatened Udinese at the Stadio Giuseppe Miazza. With the top two both in action this evening, Milan need a win to ensure they finish the weekend still on top of the table. To Tonali. Rafael Leal, good first touch, good finish. She does, flicked on by Beckow. Delafeu fell kindly for him. Pereira, 
And that it is for the third successive game. It finishes 1-1 between these two sides. A second successive draw here for Udinese and frustration for Milan. A couple of points dropped. In Serie A this year, we've got the top three separated by only one point. And we've got a proper game of culture for you this evening live on Golazzo. Napoli hosting Milan. A little bit of a late tackle on there, Giroud. Haven't seen it again. Oh dear. Boys oh, cutting badly. They're in this Milan side at such a young age. There's his ball in, and Kessie hit one. And Calabria struck it, and it's turned in. It's Olivier Giroud. Such an important touch for Milan. Teo Hernandez was onside, I think. Salamakis. And he's got Salamakas in support. He can finish it here. Milan take the points. That is huge in the race for this Scudetto. And it's a limping, hobbling Olivier Giroud who's got the goal that has made all the difference in Naples. Welcome back to our live Saturday night coverage of Serie A. The big game this evening, Milan against him. Empoli kickoff rapidly approaching. It's Olivier Giroud. Can't find a way past the wall. But the bottom corner of the net has been found. Ball for Kessie in the box. Giroud goes for it. Leao looking to set up Florenzi. Coutroni and Pinamonti wait in the middle. And Magnon says, no, that ball's mine. And that will do it. It hasn't been vintage. Milan tonight, but enough to claim the three points. And good evening to you from the Unipol Domus in Sardinia. Inter held by Fiorentina. Napoli scraping past Udinese. It is very, very dramatic up towards the top. Theo Hernandez did so well to lock that in deep, and it falls for Giroud. Now Kessie. Oh, let's fly off the post. And from Brahim Diaz. Then Benasser. It's a wonderful goal from Ismail Benasser. Howard in towards Keita Valme, then off the other side of the bar. What a win. What a hard-fought, gruelling win in the rain in Sardinia. So, welcome along, everybody, as the Serie A season resumes for the fans in San Siro. Milan have waited a decade to win the title. Could they now have only eight more games to wait? Win them all, and it is surely theirs. Deflection. Rafael Leao again to the left, including Barrow here. And he lets one go, and it's tipped over the top brilliantly. Rafael Leao, that's nice. It's Calabria. A night of frustration, a night of near misses. Milan have made it happen so often. The big dream is still alive. They must believe that. Welcome back, everybody. We are live at the Stadio Grande Torino in Turin. It's the big Sunday night game in Serie A, and it features the league leaders, Milan, who are one point clear right now. For Cassie. Calabria's there again. Bent one could say. Tonali. Brahim Diaz. Brought down by Pobega. Belotti. Oh, they've worked this really nicely. Ricci with a chance. Voivoda. Kills one. Good save. Towards Belotti, brought it down brilliantly, and fantastic block by Tamori. At Tonali, lovely skill, and still Tonali! And that's it, it's four points dropped in the space of a week by Milan. Who knows how costly that could prove. Well, San Siro watched and waited as events at Spezia unfolded. A sense of the inevitable about it all, perhaps, as Inter won to move back top. But it's only by one point. Kalulu. Good looking ball. Rafael Leao comes onto it. The drought is over. What a finish it was. What a start to the game for Milan tonight. It's back to Hernandez. It's still there for Rebic. Macias. What a save by Surigo. But Macias is there. But Milan win on Good Friday in the title race. They battled as they seem to battle every single week. One step closer toward the ultimate glory. Let's have a quick check on the top of the table. Inter were victorious yesterday at home to uh, Roma. The other Roman side now about to take on Milan, who need the win to go back on the top of the table. Because the run-in looks difficult. 
Really has seemed to have adjusted well from the change from wing back to full back now. Lanzani Malinkovic, Savage with the cross! Luis Alberto to the left, and Churro Immobile goes through the middle. That's good goalkeeping. Teo Hernandez looking for the run of Rafael Liao, who's got there. Angles tied, Giro! Equaliser! Rafael Liao. And still, brilliant play. Can he finish it? Great save. In trouble here. A Cherby with the header. And Ibrahimovic to Nali! It's a Rossoneri recovery in Rome! They're not going away in this title race! Massive! Absolutely massive! Advantage Milan in the Serie A title race as they come back home to San Siro this afternoon to take on Fiorentina. The hosts hold on to a two-point lead at the top of the table with just four games to play. And after their city rivals stumble in their game in hand on Wednesday night against Bologna, the fate of the Scudetto is now very much in the Rossoneri's own hands. And he is used. And that's a lovely through ball for Giroud. Giroud on the turn. Kessie, difficult angle. Lovely footwork. Good ball in as well, what a save! According to the press in Florence, as that's cheaply given away, but... Terracciano, Rafael Leao with a gift! Thank you very much, say the supporters in San Siro. And that should do it, that does do it. Scenes of celebration at San Siro. Well, we wait to see what Milan, their title rivals, can do tonight at the Bentegodi Stadium against Verona. Here in the city of Romeo and Juliet, another chapter of two warring tribes. James Horncastle, who do you like tonight? I like Milan, James, just because um, their away form has been fantastic. Sena Marcus, another great ball in, and it's tipped over Caprari. Lazovic into the box, he goes, he's got two targets. My yes, I'm getting to it! And he goes away from his man, onto the byline, Milan level it brilliantly. Barak's going to race with him. Jura is doing his best, but he may not be needed. Lau goes on, Milan go in front, Tonali tucks it in on the back post. Here's Florenzi. And he drives on, Florenzi! So, scores beautifully! Always in the back of their minds that once more Inter, who were behind early on, went on to win on Friday night and thought that maybe now Pioli and Milan would crack. But they never seem to crack. Always patient, always prepared, always brave. They went behind again tonight, but it didn't deter them. They hit back and they hit back hard. We salute Alessandro Nestor and he salutes the crowd at San Siro, this magnificent stadium which prepares to witness uh, Milan's penultimate game of this City season at home to Atalanta. If they get a better result than their title rivals Inter do today, then the title will be Milan's for the first time since Nesta used to play for them. One could come tonight. As Muriel lets fly. See us. Rafael Liao. It's Rafael Liao through the goalkeeper's legs and into the back of the net. The game will be up as far as the defending champions are concerned. And what about this for a run from Teo Hernandez? Fantastic! A magnificent goal! Milan have done their bit. Over to you, Inter. Either way, one more point will do it for the Rossoneri. Good evening, everyone. So it all comes down to this. The final day of a compelling season. A title race for the ages. Fought out between two great rivals. The city of Milan holds its breath. Nerazzori or Rossoneri, champion or challenger. And he's hard to catch once he gets on the ball. And he's off his Rafael Liao. And he looks for Giroud and he found him! And he scores! Rafael Liao. Wriggles away from Ferrari. And the crossover was pinpoint. And it's him again. Precise finish from Olivier Giroud. It looks like it could be a day with destiny. And here's 
Rafael Liao again. He's pulled him up and Kessie! It's a parting gift! Milan are champions! The Rossoneri Renaissance! It is Pioli's proudest moment! Finally, it's their day again! More than a decade in the making! The Scudetto is finally won! Thank you.